So we've been catching a lot of fish up here, both big and small, on a variety of bait called a swim bait. Basically what a swim bait is, is a soft plastic body with some kind of an action tail on it. And inside of it is a weighted hook. And the idea behind it is, is that you can cast this quite a ways, but that slow you know, action of that tail back there is what's going to draw these fish in. Now there's several varieties of uh, swim baits I've been using, mainly based on the depth of water that I want to cover. For example, this hollow belly has got a real small quarter ounce weight in it. So it's going to run fairly high in the water column. So I'm going to use this anywhere from right tight to shore, maybe out to two or three foot deep. As I get out deeper though, I go to bigger and bigger swim baits. For example, this one has got a little bit bigger weight in it. This great big swim baits has got a pretty good weight. I bet you there's an ounce and a half of weight in this. The second thing that you can do though, is look at your retrieve speed. Obviously all three of these baits have weight in them. So the faster you reel, the higher up in the water column the bait will run. The slower you reel, the lower it will drop. It will actually let it sink a little bit deeper. Now the last thing you can look at for where this runs in the water column is your rod tip angle. And I especially use this a lot with this hollow belly here when I'm fishing up close to shore, real, real shallow water or around weeds, where I almost run, run this like a, a surface lure or top water lure. What you can do there is throw it out there and reel, not real fast, but hold your rod tip real high. That will also hold the bait closer to the surface. So you can do a lot of things with a swim bait. They can cover a lot of water, but if you look at the weight of the swim bait, the speed of your retrieve, and your rod tip angle, that's what's gonna put them in the fish zone.